All right, here we are. Bubble nine, lesson 11, code.org, CSD, A. Find the rule in the style sheet that set image borders, colors, and width. Change the color and width of your borders. style. Here's our borders. You see them right here. So let's change them. Hmm. Eight and make them thicker. Instead of solid, let's make them dotted. And a radius. Make it oh, 30. So it's more rounded. Change the color. Red. And there we go. All right, so we just modified 20 through 23. And then put a border on another type page, another type of page element, such as headings or paragraph. Okay, the easiest way to do this. Copy 20 through 23, control C, and then drop it into your H1. So add a new line and paste it. And then we can change the color if we want. Rebecca Purple. Let's go four. And then we can make it dashed and we can make it more squared off and there we go it looks hideous but that's what they want all right on to the next one. Oh, rounded corners we did that already in the last one Or border radius style here it is right here border radius so again if we just want to modify it to more rounded just go to a higher number and it's more rounded that's all margins Find the margin property in the image rule set. All right, here's the image. Here's the margin. Change the margin to be larger. Let's go 30. Choose another element type and give it a margin too. All right, so we can add a margin in the paragraph. The easiest way is just again copy the margin code control C in 23 add it control V and then we to change the margin to something smaller so it looks a little different and there we go so again all we have to do is copy the code paste it in to whatever we want to mess with and we're good to go. Always remember to put that little um, semicolon in though, otherwise it could jack up your code. On to the next one. Background image URL. All right, so you can add an image instead of just a color to your background. And we'll look at the style. And here it is, background dash image, the URL, and then the name of the file. So we can just change this from background cloud to Cirrus, right, this one, CI. And then we have a Cirrus for our background. And you can do that with any picture you want. Is that all we wanted? Yeah, change the image to one of your choice. 
And that's it. So again, here's the code. And then just add the name of your file. Make sure this name matches up with the file, right? The file name, otherwise it won't work. Animal web page. Create a background color or image for this page. Make the images have a consistent height or width. Give a heading unique style. Float all the images to the left. Put a margin and green border around the images. Add any other style or content to customize the page. Okay. So first thing we have to do is add a CSS. All right, we have the link here, but there's no CSS in here. Let's add CSS. But uh-oh, here's the name of our CSS that it's trying to link to, but it's called new. So let's just change this name. Style.css. All right, now, create a background color or image for the page. So there you go, style. Background, let's just change this to green. All right, that one's done. Make images have consistent size. So we have to add the IMG. IMG. And then our squigglies. width of let's go ahead and make it I don't know 50 pixels so now they should oh that's too small that's way too small how about 250 pixels there we go that's better okay so they all have the consistent width give each heading a unique style all right so here's our h1 Color, aqua, font, I'm sorry, font family, model space, and there it is. Okay, so what do we have here? We have our H1. We have an H2 and an H3. All right, the easiest way to do this would be copy the H1 that we know is good, paste it. Oh, I gotta go after the squiggly, right? Huge mistake if I don't. After the squiggly, paste it in there. Instead of H1, let's make this one H2. Got to add the squiggly here. There we go. And now I can mess with this one. H2, let's go red. Well, I'm going to get rid of this paragraph one for right now. Okay, H1, H2. Then we'll go H3. Refresh and save. There we go. So now we have our H1, H2, H3. And if it doesn't change right away, hit refresh and save. Sometimes it just uh, like stalls. All right, we've got our H1, H2, H3 modified. OK, 
Okay, float all the images to the left. So we'll get to our image. Float. Was it right? Yeah, left. All right, they're all floated. Margin and green border. So we have to add that semicolon there, and then margin. Um, 25 px, and then semicolon. All right, we got our margin there. Looks good. And what else do we have to do? Green border. Okay, first things first, border color. Border color. How about bleached almond? What a delightful. Okay, there's our border color. Now our border width. style solid and then let's go ahead and round it off with the radius border radius PX. All right, they're all rounded. Looks nice. Is there anything else we do here? Add any other style or content to customize the page. All right, let's go ahead and go back to that paragraph now. Paragraph squigglies. And check it out. I'm just going to copy this straight up. Control C. And I'm going to paste it into the paragraph. And now I've got my paragraphs styled completely with this. And I'm all done. All right. If you did the last uh, challenge, this one is basically the exact same thing. So. I'm going to show you the cheater status super easy way. We're going to add our CSS. we got to change the name, right, so it matches up. Style.css. There it is. Now, I'm going to save, refresh and save. And then I'm going to go back to my last one. Now let's go back. Animal web page. Instead of typing all this out again, I'm going to come here, go to my CSS, and just paste it. And there we go. It's all done. Now I don't have to mess around. And that's it. Done deal.